those of you who don't know what this whole thing is, basically every year for my sister's birthday, I do guinea pig portraits for her. It could be a guinea pig that she has now, it could be a fictional or historical character as a guinea pig, whatever the circumstance happens to be that year. So this year she got two new guinea pigs, Minerva and Lyra, who are adopted piggies. So I wanted to make sure to do their portraits this year. Lyra has a little bit younger, more youthful energy, I suppose. So for hers, I went more youthful and maybe not quite as formal. Well, I mean, they're both they're both pretty formal, but whatever. Minerva's is a little bit more traditional. She kind of gives me old lady vibes in like the best way. These are not any particular characters. I was just kind of going for a general Shakespeare vibe. I did look into doing actual Shakespeare characters, but uh, their designs are like very interpretive based on the production that is doing the play. So I was like, uh, I'll just like do my own thing with these. It's kind of more fun to design their, their little outfits, so. I found this lovely frame. It's a vintage antique frame that I found on Etsy. The pattern on here just really reminded me of like a Shakespearean garden or something like that. However, I only now realized how small these paintings are going to be. That means the paintings are going to be this big, which is really small. I have my references for Lyra and I got my paint. <laughs> so yeah, let's do it. Basically the goal of all this is one day for my sister Bernadette to have a whole gallery wall of guinea pig portraits. Why I, you know, I, why not? Who doesn't want a gallery wall of guinea pigs? If you don't, I don't understand, frankly. What is she gonna do with this gallery? I, I don't, I don't know. I, we haven't gotten that far. Just for the sheer enjoyment of guinea pigs, honestly. They're very cute, although Lyra is like such a menace and she will just scream in Minerva's face all the time. I don't know why, you know, just guinea pig things. So these two lovely ladies are also rescue piggies, which is great. If you were ever considering becoming a pig parent, I highly recommend looking at local shelters. People don't always really consider rodents for adoption, but there are a lot of people who get them and then don't realize how much work they are and then they end up in the shelters because they are a decent amount of work. People would be surprised. They need a lot of space. They need a lot of attention. So that uh, that is my PSA of the day. If you want me to go all Sarah McLaughlin on you. Sarah McLaughlin? Sarah McLaughlin? Sarah McLaughlin. Sarah... Forget it. Yeah, so I haven't really been posting all that much. Just mostly been busy with day-to-day -day work in video production, which has been going well, but I do really want to get back into painting more. And also, you know, sharing with you guys more of my process, if that's something that you're interested in. Yeah, you might have also realized that I removed some videos. If you're holding on to any of those, I apologize. But uh, yeah, there were just some projects that I didn't feel quite so proud of, or I feel like I could have done better. I also took down like pretty much almost all of my TikTok videos as well. But I try not to feel any disdain or cringe about anything that I've made and published in the past that I've then decided to remove because it's like, it's all just part of my creative process. And it's like trying out different cosplays and different art styles and and kind of seeing what I vibe with the most. That's That's okay. That's, you know, what we do as artists and that's how we grow as artists. I also wanted to make sure that I was creating because I loved creating, not because I wanted to feel like I needed to post something or I wanted to have something to share, you know? I hope that those past videos have sparked a lot of joy and, you know, serves their purpose for the time that they were there. And uh, yeah, overall great decision on my end to... <laughs> Okay, uh, I'm gonna switch over to Minerva's portrait now. So uh, let's get that set up. Pretty much like since essentially quitting the internet about a year ago, I've been finding more joy in physical mediums. Not, not even just painting and drawing, but also I got back into reading. I started working out a lot and spending more time with friends in person. I got really into crossword puzzles, like really into crossword puzzles. <laughs> and like this, this has just benefited me an enormous amount in my life. I felt so much better after doing that, honestly. 
<laughs> I mean, I also have everything going on with AI art, and I'm gonna make myself sound like an old man here and be like, Did all the phones and the social medias. I, I know that's what I sound like, and I'm, I'm really trying not to. Um, <laughs> But I think AI art actually inspired me to kind of go back to my roots in a way because I really started to value the craft of painting more and of creating art. It, it is finite. It is impermanent, I guess. I don't know. You can just see the, the craftsmanship and like the human touch in it. I, I still do like digital art quite a lot and I used to do more digital art you know, I found the process of creating it not as enjoyable for me, but uh, yeah, I just I just really enjoy the the tactile element. But for me, I, I at least just enjoy the process of creating it a lot more. Why did I do these like so small? Okay, I know it's because of the frame, and I really like the frame, but I didn't really realize till I got the frame how small these are gonna be. Like for for reference, right? This is like smaller than the size of my hand. So this is like <laughs> microscopic. That was probably not my best idea. Eh, I've had worse ideas, alas. The proportions are definitely not right. Okay, I'm gonna move a few things around. Yeah, yeah, let's do that. Minerva is a long hair guinea pig. There's not a whole lot of direct flow of hair. It's just kind of like, pretty fun, but a little tricky. She has really cute little like butt tufts that like stick up in the air and they're adorable. It's looking better, it's looking better. Timing is really important when you're working with oil paint because depending on how much time has gone by, you're gonna get a pretty different effect. So, so it kind of depends on what you're going for. If you don't wait that long in between layers, it's gonna look a lot smoother because things are gonna be blending a lot more. And if you wait a long time, you're gonna see a lot more brush strokes because it's not going to be blending. That's one of the things that's kind of tricky about oil painting is that once you start, you're kind of on a timer. I, I will put things down for quite a few days and then come back and it's dry and then you kind of have to start over in some areas, but it's kind of one of those things that I, I love and hate about oil painting because it keeps you from procrastinating too long, but then it sometimes makes me procrastinate starting. <laughs> you know, you mess up, you mess up. So right now I'm working on Minerva's, just kind of doing some detailing. Um, I've been having a little bit more trouble with hers because of the, the color palettes. So I'm kind of just trying to fix up some things right now and make it overall a little bit less dark because the dark fur with the dark dress was getting a little bit too muddy. So I'm just bringing some more of the, the highlights out from this and um, hopefully this is gonna make her stand out a little bit better. Uh, I think we're about done here. I'm gonna go ahead and let these dry and then put them in the frame that I found. Ugh, I want a pig so bad. So I will get these shipped off and then we will see in probably about a week when they get there, when they arrive. I hope you enjoyed these piggies and I will see you back here in about a week. Do you have any idea of what the subject is? I have a feeling it's Lyra or Minerva. I'm gonna guess Minerva because you were asking about her paws. Right. Oh yeah! They've arrived. I should have ordered more because I, I almost ate all of mine. You could probably order more. Don't mind my.
my god, these are perfect. <laughs> oh, good, good. <laughs> my god. The effect that pigs have on my brain. Yes, <laughs> same. Okay, when I have my gallery, when mm -hmm. I have a house with like a wall that I can make my gallery, I'm gonna put in chronological and like period order. Cesario is actually more like early, early 17th century. Mm -hmm. These girls are like 16th century. Mm -hmm. So I can actually make like a timeline of fashion. <laughs> oh my god, fashion to the age of this pig. <laughs> I love the amount of like period research you did for this. Dude, dude, I did so much research. So good. <laughs> my god, I love these so much. Okay, well, happy belated birthday. I'll let you go to your meeting. Thanks. Okay, <laughs> bye. Bye. Playra, good girl, but please just, just, just. One second. One second. Oh, man, 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 man. Oh, 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 man. O